Guys, so another cloudy day. <laughs> every night it's cloudy. I mean, every single night you can't get a vision of the sky out here for I I can't even I can't remember the last time we had sun. But anyway, look at the trees, dude. Look at them. No green. Just I mean, they're cool looking. Actually, you go out. I went out at night and took some pictures up at the sky. The way the blue was going against that one night a while back. It's just odd because God tells you one of the times of the season. You know, they look like, I don't know, fault. They look dead. Dead with blooms. Death with blooms. Okay, so let me read this real quick. Um, my mom has a Facebook friend, and how I told you everybody was re being respectful, but basically they're kind of not. So let me go ahead and uh, just read this, what she said online. It's kind of messed up. Give me one second. I'll put her name on here. I will do this so you know that I'm reading it. I put my, name, my finger across the name, but... So, I'm going to read this to you. And it goes down. All right. Beyond disgusted. If you don't like curse words, you may not want to read what I'm about to say. I was just at Walgreens. I have a bag of chips and air freshener plugs in my hand. There is a line of, I would, no, excuse me. There is a line of, I would say, eight people with carts of water. There are two people in front of me. And, and, um, where was that? Sorry, I was turning around. There are two people in front of me and an elder woman who looked to be in her 80s, white hair fragile with a mask and latex gloves, using the shelf to her right as a bit of a crutch. I thought she was talking to herself, and when I realized she was talking to the 20-something-year-old lady in front of her, I started to listen a little closer and watch as the elderly lady begged the lady in front of her in line for at least one of her 50 effing bottles of sanitizer in her hand. Mind you, a few of us in line just watched her take them all off the shelf. Most of us just rolled our eyes at her and went about our way. The elder was expressed and she was in fear for her life and she couldn't find any anywhere. So I waited to see if the dumb ASS would give her one after she purchased them and no one was saying anything. As the cashier is scanning them, I'm getting more and more peed off that this broad isn't handing at least one over to her and as everyone is realizing what is happening because the elder is now speaking a little louder still begging a lady who is standing there now with a smirk on her face the elder woman turned to me and asked if i knew where any place that had any i said as a matter of fact i do i snatched the lady's bag off the counter gave her that i wish you would look and gave the elder two bottles and put a ten dollar bill in the lady's bag and shoved the bag in her hand she said what the f I said back, yeah, what the F? Did it make you feel good to have an elderly woman begging you for a $3 bottle of effing sanitizer? Then all of a sudden, everyone had something to say to the young lady. I told them to leave her alone, and she learned her lesson, and she left. I bought my stuff and started looking around for the woman when realized she wasn't standing there anymore. I went to look for her. She was sitting down at the pharmacy seat crying. I felt so embarrassed I did that, thinking that the lady was upset with me. She said she was proud of me and that we live in a world of selfishness. She thought for sure that someone, anyone standing in line with their six cases of effing water would say something. She got more upset and kept repeating just she got more upset and just kept repeating just one. She said she was so scared and she didn't want to keep going in stores and and began to pick, become frantic. She said she felt embarrassed and ashamed, but she had been to four stores and was just exhausted. I told her I was so sorry that she had to go through that. I gave her my business card and told her to call me if she needed anything. Moral of the story, you young effers with no respect for your elders, anyone for that matter. Better effing open your eyes and remember that people her age paved paths for us, and I will always stand up. I don't know what's going on with the phone. It's flashing. <sighs> Remember that people gave people her age paid pass for us, and I will always stand up for an elder and so ashamed that no one said anything, and one guy even had his phone out recording. I promise that I will do that s I'll do that s h i t over and over again if I see some stupid a s s s h i t like that. This s h i t has some folks acting dumb as s h i t, running and pushing to get water, being disrespectful, and some more s h i t. Even if the lady bought the last two. S-H-I-T, go get a container and pour a little in there for her. But she ignored the lady and with a smirk on her face, peed me off. Okay, you don't want to share? At least say that. Okay, ran over. <laughs> Rant over. I will just have to stay out of the store for a while. I actually just want to say, man, you know what? That's awesome. That is so awesome that someone just, you know, stood up for her like that, you know. 
Um, I would have done it. I, I probably would have done worse. I probably would have told them first and foremost they were only supposed to be given two out. So I'm going to ask her where it was, which Walgreens, and why is this happening, and then call their manager and tell them that that lady needs to be fired. There's no way you get a truck in and then someone just happens to know about the t at that time to take a wall. Unless it was pre-planned. Like, I'm just saying. That's just ridiculous. They're supposed to keep them behind a the counter and give two out a person. You know? I, I, I don't know. I would have said something more like that and took them all back and said, you're only supposed to be doing two a person. And that's, you know what I mean? That's your rule of your story. You're going to get fired. You know? But it is what it is. I guess there's a reason I wasn't there. I probably would have went a little bit further. But, you know... <laughs> I just praise this lady for what she did, and I just wanted to put it out there. You all have a blessed day. Keep looking after each other. Um, I don't know. I wish that we could all kind of get closer, you know, my Christian friends and stuff, because I, I just feel something bad coming. You know, have a blessed day. Bye.